What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Viewer's Choice Movie Review. I didn't forget about you. I didn't forget about this review. It is a Bond-themed weekend, and this past week, I asked you guys to vote on which Daniel Craig Bond movie you wanted me to review, and the winner with the most amount of votes was... Casino Royale. Now this weekend, No Time to Die, the final Daniel Craig Bond entry hit theaters, and if you want to see my review, definitely check out my channel where that review is posted, so definitely don't miss out on that review. But Casino Royale, this is the movie that started it all off. This is the movie that started the Daniel Craig Bond era. You know, it had a lot of uh, making up to do in terms of, you know, its predecessors not really delivering the best Bond movies. You know, especially this is coming off the heels of uh, the last Pierce Brosnan movie, which I think was Die Another Day, which was god awful. So the bar was pretty low going into this one. But uh, I definitely feel like there was a lot of uh, anticipation headed into Casino Royale when it hit theaters back in, I think, 2006, I believe. Now, Daniel Craig was definitely a uh, a wild choice in a lot of people's minds. A lot of people didn't really like the whole blonde hair, blue eyes thing. There was a lot of controversy surrounding his casting, which I just didn't really understand at the time. I was like, just give the guy a damn chance. <laughs> you know, let's give it a film before we start judging. But, you know, I went in with an open mind. I wasn't like a huge Bond fan you know, heading into Casino Royale, you know, it just looked like a cool movie to me. And you no, know, and then I saw it with my dad back in the day and walked out of it having seen one of the best action movies I had seen all my life. Now, if you're wondering what Casino Royale is about, I'm going to put the plot down below for you guys to read as I delve into this review. Just want to head right into the review. And first things first, Daniel Craig was an amazing choice to play James Bond. I mean, not only has he fleshed out this character and given this character a refreshing new take, you know, over the course of these five movies now, but he really redefined the character in Casino Royale, really made it his own, and made Bond feel modern, made Bond feel evolved, and it was a completely different take on the character that just completely worked. I mean, Craig's charismatic, he's suave, as you would expect for any, you know, actor who has chosen to play Bond, but he gives Bond this vulnerability. He gives this Bond a tough exterior that slowly is broken down by this Vesper Lynn character who's played by Eva Green, and you get to see the softer sides of the character. You get to see Bond feel the most human he has ever felt, in my opinion, in the James Bond series, where he finally feels like a fully three-dimensional human being, and not just some charming, you know, suave, charismatic charismatic, you know, uh, two-dimensional two character. Because frankly, you know, for me, at least the Bond movies I've seen, I haven't really seen a Bond movie where I felt like Bond felt fully human. You know, like he felt like someone who you could run into on the street and like recognize as a, you know, a, a real human being, if that makes sense. But Craig really brought all those layers to the character. And not only that, but he's so badass in the role. I mean, the opening action sequence alone, you know, that chase sequence through the construction site is one of the best chase sequences I've ever seen put to film. In my opinion, it's the best chase sequence I've ever seen on film. It's gorgeously filmed. It's so intense. It's visceral. It's so well done. And it really showed you that this was a new kind of Bond. This was a Bond for the modern era. This was a grittier take on the character, and I was all about about it. And the rest of the action sequences in the movie are stellar. I mean, this movie is directed by Martin Campbell, who directed Pierce Brosnan and Goldeneye, which is one of, you know, the most beloved Bond films. And it was great to see him back in the director's chair here. And he, you know, directs every action sequence so well. It's just beautifully filmed in camera. There's no shaky cam or quick cuts, just really well done stunts. And every action sequence feels a little bit different from the previous one, but just as exciting. And what I really appreciated about Campbell's direction is, is that even when it gets to the Casino Royale portion of the movie where it's, you know, very poker heavy where I, this is where a lot of people found the movie to be kind of boring and they're like, well, it was great until the poker game and then it just kind of like slams on the brakes. For me, I think Campbell was able to shoot those sequences, those poker sequences in a way that makes them feel like action sequences, just the way, you know, he's framing characters, the pace at which he's, you know, putting together those scenes and laying out all the, you know, groundwork for the characters. Bond, Le Chief, who's played by Mads Mikkelsen, one of my favorite actors, and definitely this is one of my favorite Bond villains, definitely in the top two for me of the Craig era. But the way he shoots those poker scenes really impressed me because it's like in another director's hands, they would have fallen flat, they would have been bland, they would have been mediocre, but he makes them feel alive and he makes every action sequence and just character driven moment in this movie feel alive. So I got to give him credit for that. And the rest of the supporting cast here is great. I mean, you've got Mads Mikkelsen, like I said, playing the villain with Sheaf. He's fantastic in the role, and he's definitely really digging into this character. And the more I watch the movie, it's like the more I understand why he is who he is and why he's doing what he's doing and why he is so desperate in this movie. It's like the, someone once said, I think I read it recently, it's like the, the older I get, the more <laughs> the more I understand with Sheaf's, you know, paranoia and you know, desperation when it comes to money. And I'm like, I felt that. I felt that. And also you've got Jeffrey Wright. You've got Judy Dench. You've got, you know, uh, Eva Green, who is so damn good in the movie as Vesper Lynn. In my opinion, the best Bond girl ever. And there's a reason why her 
you know, death haunts every James Bond movie after that involving Daniel Craig. And, you know, that relationship that develops between her and, you know, Bond is fantastic. I mean, their opening scene alone is incredible, just the way they're kind of breaking down each other and kind of seeing right through one another. And like deconstructing the other's character while also kind of showing respect for the other. It's like the best kind of introduction scene between a Bond girl and James Bond. It, it felt like it wasn't just, you know, one sided and like Bond gets the girl. It was like someone was challenging Bond. Someone was actually trying to break through his, you know, facade and kind of see the real him and succeeded. And it was just a great scene in all of their scenes together, especially that scene in the shower where he's consoling her after that whole hallway brawl and, you know, with a lot of deaths happening, you know, that's another great scene and their relationship absolutely feels fully formed and it feels earned that romance. I mean, this is a movie for me that is just so entertaining and rewatchable from start to finish. I have watched this movie so many times and in terms of Bond movies, I think it's got some of the best action. I think it's got the best character work. I think it's got stellar performances all around, stellar direction from Martin Campbell and it, you know, reintroduces this character to audiences in a way that makes the character feel completely new again and, you know, really gave us a Bond that was worth getting excited about again and I think that was a real achievement and I think Craig shut up a lot of those naysayers after this movie came out because it's one of the most beloved Bond movies a lot of people consider it to be their favorite Bond movie in general so you know that he not only shut up those naysayers but he earned some fans for life and in my opinion he is my favorite Bond and nothing I just, I just don't see that ever changing and I just loved what he did in his debut here and as for a debut Bond film it is fucking fantastic. So that is my review of Casino Royale. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you take it into consideration if you consider watching or re-watching this one. And if you have seen the movie, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And definitely let me know what your favorite Daniel Craig uh, Bond movie is. Definitely curious to hear your thoughts. And of course, give this video a thumbs up to help that old algorithm, you know, and subscribe to the channel for more movie reviews, TV reviews, more viewers choice movie reviews. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm going to put that down below too so that you can give me a follow on those social media platforms and see what I'm up to in my everyday life if you're interested. And if you want to take part in this week's Viewer's Choice poll, definitely follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That is where it's posted every week. It should be up within the next day or two so that you'll be able to vote in this week's poll and decide what movie I'm going to be reviewing next week. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic. <laughs>